This past Valentine's Day in the US alone, an estimated $25.8 billion was spent on Valentine's Day, which is an estimate of $185 per person. This February, I couldn't stop thinking about what love is. And when did it get so expensive? Showering others with gifts only tells one part of a much larger story of what it means to love. Before we get into this, this year I am doing short monthly recaps based on things I learned, books I've read, design lessons, and anything else I found interesting. As always, if you are interested in tech, productivity, lifestyle, or design videos, then please take a second to like this video, comment at the end, subscribe to my channel, and then go check out some of my other content like my most recent video, Stop Sucking at Design, which deals with imposter syndrome and tips on how to intentionally practice. Love is an all-encompassing term. Sometimes it's romantic or it's words of affirmation. At the heart of love is actions. And if we say we love ourselves or the people around us, why do we rarely act like it? Real love is being generous and forgiving without expectations. It's listening to others, really listening, not making the conversation revolve around our lives. It's trying to be selfless, being compassionate and meeting people where they're at. Love is taking time for yourself to stay healthy and be a better version of yourself and realizing that you do deserve to take care of yourself. Love can be grand gestures, and I am not anti-gift, but I do sometimes wonder how far we're drifting away from what real love is. My biggest takeaway from February is to act like you have an abundance of love for yourself, your life, and the people around you without expecting anything in return. Books I've read. Some of my ideas about rethinking love probably have something to do with the books I've read, which don't have anything to do with love, but have everything to do with psychology and behaviors. The first book I read last month was Think Again by Adam Grant, which examines the science behind changing your mind and persuading others to change theirs. It explores mindset and being curious. So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport challenges traditional career advice and makes readers rethink their passions and lifelong goals. One of my favorite things Cal Newport wrote is, if you want to love what you do, abandon the passion mindset, what can the world offer me? And instead adopt the craftsman mindset, what can I offer the world? Design learnings. Earlier this month, one of my UX clients told me I was someone who just gets things done, which really struck a chord in me because I don't see myself that way at all. Earlier in my career, I struggled so much with motivation and procrastination. And while I still do, I have to say looking back that all of these small design and daily habit changes I've made have actually made a difference. It's boosted my creativity, built my confidence, and improved my communication. I have been actively trying to have better work and life habits for about two years now. And I guess my takeaway from this month is, it just takes time to see results. So stick to your positive habits and be patient with your growth. Other interesting things. A huge part of love is self-care and knowing when to take a break. January and February have been overwhelming months in terms of the amount of work I was trying to accomplish and I was quickly headed towards a state of burnout. But a long weekend away really helped offset that. My partner and I spent some time in Barrie, Ontario at the Horseshoe Resort, which is known for its typical Canadian winter activities of skiing, snow tubing, and there is even a Scandinavian spa across the street called Veta. If you are unconvinced why sitting in hot water or hot saunas is good for your health, here are some reasons why you should do it stress relief, improved sleep, muscle relaxant, and apparently they help remove toxins from your body. That's all for me this month, and I hope you all had a wonderful February. Before I go, I want to know, what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Did you actually spend $160? If you went somewhere or bought a gift, comment it below. I'm just genuinely curious. Where did all that money go? I'll see you guys next month.